that you want to sit here right now. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. Um, <laughs> so my question, my question to you all is, how do you think? I'm, I'm going to ask for your input. There will be five minutes on the clock, and nobody gets to speak after that five minutes. How do you think we should proceed with this? Go. Now go. Councillor Pan. Uh, I definitely agree that we should have a revote for that. This is very undemocratic. Uh, some people did not cast a vote for the second and third choice. Uh, I believe we should implement a new voting system where you can only vote for one candidate. Yeah. Uh, are other councillors, ambassadors wishing to speak? Ambassador Chris Johnson. Um, I actually think that we should uh, keep it to three, three voting because it kind of gives everybody a different chance to like pick different ones. So you, there are more options? Yes. Yeah. Like the, and the issue is not having a, a ranked ballot. The issue is, do we have a new vote and maybe a new method, which then brings in your question, or do we keep the results as they stand now? And some people, sorry, some people would argue that because um, someone from council has already spoken to the media as chair, that that should stand. As the clerk, uh, it is my responsibility to make sure that the reflections of you, of you as councillors and ambassadors are reflected in the votes, and then that is the vote that carries, period. And so, in, 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 well, we'll keep, keep hearing voices. Um, yes, uh, uh, councillor, I'm sorry. I think we should keep it, because I believe people have decided unanimously who they want it their first choice. So we have decided there is a chairman. So instead of wasting time and wasting our resources in, in, in arguing this or just making a new, uh, a new vote, we should just keep it. Councillor, uh, for, first I want to hear from other people who, who are candidates, and last of all, I'll try to get all the candidates to say what well, a piece if they so choose. Um, so, Councillor Poenar. Um, I think it's important in the interest of uh, accountability that we do uh, have a new vote in order to um, maintain the chair or see if there was a discrepancy in the way it was voted before and uh, elect the chair pass that vote. Thank you. Um, any other non candidates wish to speak? Councillor Chell and then Ambassador Rubin. Uh, Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. I mean, if really there were voting errors, then I think really the vote should be, the result should be scrapped. Um, I would propose a round-by-round -round voting method uh, with someone winning 50% plus one in the interest of uh, commonality. Um, thank you. Councillor Moomin. Yeah, so I personally think when it comes to an issue like this that we should have a motion whether or not to have a re-vote, but that could be a second motion. The first motion would be whether or not to stay with the same system having the first two choices or having a system with one choice. Personally, my thoughts on having one choice is politics is not politics is not vague. Yeah, it'd be discreet and to the point. Leave the vagueness of politics to the campaign speeches. Any other non-candidates wishing to speak on the on the matter before I get actual candidates? Councillor, the council, councillor, sorry, behind you, councillor Nasiri, and then councillor Prasen. Um, I think just in terms of equality, uh, revolt should be allowed. So even if the person who did win, um, they would probably get the same number of votes, if anything. And if not, then we would actually see who was actually the real winner. So either way, it's just, it'll be fair. Either way. Um, Councillor Councilor Prasenni and then uh, Ambassador Sergenic. Um, I believe that since we've already have correspondence with the media, and they already sort of interviewed the chair, that we shouldn't go back and change it just because then that would contradict the legitimacy of the CYCTO. That's it. Thanks. Um, Councillor, well, no, let me. Now I'm going to start speaking. This is okay. Um, yeah. One second. One sec. So, council, one, one second. Councillor um, Serjanic and then Councillor Glustine. Councillor Kumar. Anyone else? Councillor Han. Uh, other hand is I think probably we should just to make sure that we do get the right result in terms of reflecting on um, everybody here. 
Um, and I think probably the best way to do that is, is to take the top three candidates uh, that were there in the voting, because the, the voting is a little bit confusing in terms of how it ended up in terms of voting one, two, uh, and three for whichever candidate. So I think it might be best to take the top three candidates there and then actually hold a vote uh, just for those top three candidates. And you're only allowed uh, essentially to pick one. Uh, and then I think with that one, you probably will have some, you probably might have somebody that gets 50% plus one. And I think that would probably be uh, the best way uh, in order to resolve it. So essentially, if there's three candidates here and each one gets 33% or 34, 33, and then 32%, drop the person with 32% and then just go to the final two. I think that might be the best way because I think it's important to get it right. Uh, and to get it right in terms of this time, just to rectify all of this. Uh, to be honest, we might have the same result. Uh, it might be likely, but I think in fairness, that probably would be uh, the best way to go, considering there are a multitude of concerns um, around here. Okay. Um, was that a motion that yes. you're putting forward? Could you, could Sorry, you please, I, please restate yes, it? Yes, absolutely. Can get it transcribed? Absolutely. I, I'd like to move um, that the top three... Uh, speak slowly, sir. Yes. Uh, so the motion uh, reads, be it resolved um, that the top three candidates uh, be voted on with one vote per delegate. And then there's a, let me know if you have that and then I'll go from there. Uh, and then it would be a, a be it further resolved um, that if uh, someone does not achieve 50% plus one of the vote, the lowest balloted candidate gets dropped off, and we select the person, uh, and then you just select between two candidates, and then for sure you'll have somebody with 50% plus one. Yeah, so it, it, essentially, so be resolved that the top three candidates uh, be voted on, with each delegate having one vote, and then be it further resolved that if somebody, if these three candidates do not receive 50% plus one, uh, there is a second round of balloting. It's a little bit long and confusing, uh, but yeah. And go ahead, I can take, we can take questions on that. Uh, Councillor Reeser. Um, then, would the, are you, by the top three candidates, do you mean the top three candidates? Uh, I, I, is, sorry, I, I yes. didn't interrupt. But nor, normal, pardon me, normal parliamentary routine is that when you get up to speak, you always address the chair. Yes. And so it, it sort of neutralizes any, you know, hyper partisanship and, and negative attacks. You address you address your colleagues through the chair. Continue. So would the top three candidates in question be the top three resulting from the previous um, vote? Yes. Um, any other uh, questions? On this motion, before this, thank you. Before this motion is is put to council, I, I'd like to weigh in and give my view, but I want to hear from everyone else first. Um, and this is where we can now hear from um, actual candidates who who were on the ballot for um, for chair. So, um, Ambassador Puri, I don't know if the other candidates would like to speak. Councillor uh, Siva Kumaran, Ambassador Arale. Um, anyone else? Any other candidates wishing to speak? If not, we'll hear from these three candidates. Um, uh, Ambassador Lee. If no one else, then these will be the only candidates that will weigh in on the issue. Okay, Ambassador Curie. I do realize that there are, I could go both ways, and there are issues as you also mentioned how um, the media has done the interview. However, if a mistake has been made, we can't live with this for two years because the votes are so close. If someone takes, for example, one, 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 for their first one, the only first one to go through. So one and one, you could have picked two and three, and two and three could have actually changed the election results, potentially. So that's why it has to be done regardless because a mistake may have been made. So in fairness for other candidates, it should be done. Um, uh, I, I do, I, I part, uh, I apologize for not looking at my list of the councillors who would wish to speak, but I do have uh, Councillor Blessing, uh, Blessing Councillor Kumar, Councillor Han, and Councillor Jew. 
Uh, so, Councillor Gillespie, only because their names were on were on the speaker's list before I even opened it up to, to candidates, uh, we have some time to speak. Okay. Um, so I just I believe that if we do not put this uh, back to a revote of some sort, um, it'll cast a shadow of doubt um, upon the election result, and I'd rather us have a uh, you know um, a solid election result that everybody. Um, can recognize rather than one that will be disputed over time. So I think we should go to a revote. Okay, Councillor Kumar. Um, I personally think that this should go to a revote. So what's basically happened is that there is a discrepancy, so that that there might be discrepancy in the results. As we've heard, the, the floor believes that there might have been a discrepancy. And honestly, if there wasn't a discrepancy, Christopher gets reelected. If there was one, someone else gets elected. So. I think either way, this is the best solution. Councillor Han. Councillor Han, then Councillor Zhu, then Councillor Nick. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Councillor Han would like to point out that even though it may contradict our media output, we would not, we should not, ha we should not undermine the democratic construct we build this council upon. We need to have pure democracy. Thank you. Councillor Zhu. So this is going to be our team for the next two years, and I don't think, even though the media has already gotten an interview, I don't think we should hold, put this back. I think we should have a revote in order so that it's fair, and we can never be too sure. Um, breaking, uh, well, we'll have a uh, chance to any other speaker. I, I, uh, I totally agree that there should be a revote. Uh, the, the uh, the media needs to see that we're a transparent organization. Um, I agree with uh, the best of Jane's suggestion, and uh, it's really important we make a really positive impression on the media. And uh, worst case scenario, uh, you know, we, we get we get the same result, and there's no issue, and we can all just move on to something else. So let's get it done. Um, one of the uh, city staff. Uh, would like to, to speak, and usually um, city staff wouldn't get a, a, a voice like in council, but given the nature of the uh, the issue at hand, I would, I would see it fit. Um, so you have uh, some time, let's say 30 seconds. Thank you, yes, I, just, I apologize for speaking, I'm not supposed to, but I just want to say in regards to media, there was no video at all. I can always contact the media and we can always redo an interview. So don't worry or fret about that or let that affect your decision. Please. Thank you. Um, we have Councillor Orkin. Thank you. Uh, I'm for the revote. If there wasn't a discrepancy, then we should go back and do a revote. Um, I'm just hoping that whatever we decide to do, uh, we can do it for the vice chair position and for the uh, committee chairs because this is taking a really, really long time. Yes, it is. Um, and at this juncture, and I apologize to other people who did want to get a, a chance to speak, I know your hand was up, so you will be the last uh, person, or sorry, Councillor, um, Ambassador Lee will be the last person. Uh, so you two will speak, and then I will give uh, a ruling on this. Councillor Wesson. Um, I think that considering the discussion, it would be worthwhile to have, to have a revote. Um, but I would suggest that it be a simple revote if we to use the suggestion of having the um, top three from the previous vote. If that vote was potentially flawed, that would undermine these new results, and then we would end up going through this whole process again. I would suggest that we simply revote. And the last speaker on our list here is Ambassador Lee. We're here to revitalize our democracy and show the world that we have a better option that something that's better exists. And so what even we stand for, we gotta have some integrity and we gotta redo the council that, you know, the chair is actually who council wants it to be. And with that, with that here's, here's how I think we should proceed. Um, as the Youth Council Clerk, and I don't mean to be rude to any outlet that is here, but I don't care about the media. 
my job here is to make sure that when you vote, your voices are heard through the vote and when, what motions uh, or, or bylaws or things like that carry or pass are, are become the view of this council. And it's too up and partially too up.